Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, One Love 2008 for Life. Today, I'm going to share with you guys uh, another mini haul that I did for my polymer clay um, hobby, I guess you could say. Um, first off, um, I'm going to show you my clay. So, here goes. Um, this is Sculpey. Let me bring y'all down a little bit. Uh, this is Scopey Hot. This is Hot Pink. Pink. This is Translucent. And I also bought another Translucent. No. Oh, two Translucents. So, I bought two of those. Here's Ballerina. It's actually a pink color. A uh, baby pink color. Very light pink. Um, sorry, it's coming off white though. But it's pink actually. Um, I actually bought just one silver, and this is Scopey, this is so Scopey Silver, but I just wanted to share with you the differences between Primo and then the Scopey. Um, this Primo is very rich in its silver color, and this is just a light, it, it comes off very light, it looks very light compared to this one, and you get more glitter, it seems like there's more glitter look into this Primo than into the Scopey, but it may just be because it's lighter. So, I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, here's a blue. Here's um, a Dusty Rose. Here's black in the Scopey. And I didn't, I didn't buy this one in this haul. I bought it in my past haul. But I just want to share the differences. This one actually looks like a light black grayish color. And this one's just a rich black. And the difference is, um, I think Primo is softer, softer than Scopey. So, that's just my opinion. I bought another white because I'm running out. Here's, um, I actually bought two moss. Two of them. Here's a uh, leaf green. I love this color. It's actually the color of my camera. Um, this is actually Granny Smith. And it looks just like this. Um, this is Burnt Umber. It's a brown. Here's Light Blue Pearl. Elephant Gray. Sunshine. Just orange. I don't know if you heard me. This one, this one, sunshine. I really like that yellow. Pottery and sweet potato. All right. Um. Next is just other things tools and stuff I picked up. Here's some findings. I actually meant to pick I thought these were eye, eye pins but they're actually head pins. And these are the three fourths inch head, um, head pins. These are the two inch head pins. Here's some tools and they're the style and detail tools. And and there's there's all the little tools and stuff on the back side five and one tool and comes with a little um, stand for all the little pieces there here's here's the tools to show you guys here's the tools right there. Pick these up for cute Tim Popo because uh, she said that they don't have these where she lives, the little small cutters, or she can't find any. So I picked these up for her, um, just for a token of my appreciation of you know helping me out with questions and telling me different things I need to know. So thank you, girl. Here's a acrylic roller. And 
here's some paintbrushes and they actually have like the little dots and stuff on how they the dots will actually come out to look some small dots so each brush you know has a little picture of how all the little dots will come out so these are little small ones right here medium and then these are bigger and here's just like a brush type stroke and then I picked up these etch these etch and pearl tool so it'll be pretty easy to make beads put them on there and just bake the beads and there's like other little tools on the bottom like circular I guess to make perfect little circles I guess but but thank you guys for watching um a little bit about the differences between Scopey uh, polymer clay and cold porcelain clay is that cold porcelain you can actually make your own colors um that's a pro of the cold porcelain um you don't have to purchase cold porcelain now you do have to purchase the materials but that's you know that's not too much to uh, come off of money wise um um Scopey's pros is that, you know, you already have the color in the clay, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, what else? Um, Scopey, it's easier to work with in, well, they're about the same. Cold porcelain is easy to work with just as well as Scopey. Um, uh, this one you'll get the job done faster. Um, the cold porcelain, you have to let it sit for like 24 hours. That's the con of it. it the cons of it is that, you know, of cold porcelain, is that you have to sit, let it sit for 24 hours before you work with it. When, when, uh, Scopey, you can just grab it and go and start working. Um, what else? Mm, cons of Scopey, you have to pay for it. Um, that's the only difference, I guess, in, you know, uh, the only con I can think of. Um, but, yeah, I, I'll lean, t if, if you're on a budget for kids that, you know, don't have a job or, you know, don't have, you know, or their parents just won't pay for, you know, their little love for making charms or whatever, um, Cold porcelain is the way to go. You have to be patient, but, you know, that is the way to go. Um, but, yeah, uh, you guys, thanks for watching my video. Sorry it was so long if it was. Um, but thanks for watching my video, and check my channel out. Um, for or look out for my next video uh, on my channel. Thanks. Peace. Bye.